Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another alien figure review and this time it's Dennis Parker from the Nostromo crew by NECA and this is part of the 40th anniversary line I've uh, done a few videos so far, I've got plenty more alien stuff coming up on the channel still got to review Ripley and Brett and I'm going to do a review on the one six scale Medicon Big Chap Alien then I'll compare it to the Hot Toys one here uh, I've already reviewed the Big Chap recently here by NECA and I'm going to be comparing that to the Mezco figure which is here so plenty of good stuff on the way looking forward to doing those videos for you but this one is all about Parker and he still wants that bonus <laughs> so do I, we all want a bonus and I need you to go ahead and hit the like button for me that really helps out the channel folks subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and follow me on instagram at dean night free 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 i hope you enjoy this review on dennis parker from alien Packaging, very nicely done, very reminiscent of the Kenner packaging for the original Big Chap Alien figure. There's Parker in his housing of the box inside there, and you've got a flamethrower. Alright, so here's Parker out of the box, and everything he comes with, that's actually attached to what I thought was some kind of torch or something, so no, it's all part of the cattle prod setup. Uh, he has a spare hand and the flamethrower. Now, the figure looks really good, but I'm not 100% convinced with the likeness on this one. Um, I don't really see Yasif, is it Yasif Koto? I don't want to get his name wrong, he passed away not too long ago. Uh, Yasif Koto, that's what I'm thinking it is. But mass, you know, massive respect. He was actually the character I think a lot of people can relate to the most. It must be miserable being up there in space all that time, not getting paid that much. And he just wanted his bonus and uh, also, was very tempted to review Brett at the same time as reviewing Parker because they're such good buddies. But I want to do individual reviews so you can bet that Parker will turn up in Brett's review. And that will be coming up soon on the channel. That looks like the best of the bunch, Brett over there. Incredible figure. I haven't got it out of the packaging yet, but I've seen videos on YouTube. It looks amazing. Um, proportions look good. T-shirt underneath, very good. The shirt itself. Arms look good, hands. Uh, had a bit of trouble getting him to stand up at first, his feet are a bit weird. But that should ease up with a little bit of time out of the box. But the likeness, I'm not convinced. That's going to factor in pretty heavily on the final score. But, you know, we have a pretty decent Parker figure here. Take a look at the figure on the rotating base. Take a look at all the details as he comes around. Really nice weathering on the paint. It does convey nicely that kind of just dirt and grime. And wasn't he uh, the engineer like fixing everything with Brett? I think everything's really strong on this piece apart from the actual likeness to the actor. I just don't really see him and no angle is really helping to be honest with you. I mean it's kind of there a little bit, but I don't know. The actual likeness to the actor and the face on the figure here, I would give like a six out of 10. 
you know it's not quite verging into seven which is good eight very good nine excellent ten masterpiece this is about a six when it comes to the likeness for me personally let me know what you think could just be being a bit too harsh on the piece but everything else though I really like the clothing look at the weathering on the shoes the legs the knees coming around here nice discoloration there great work on the hands the arms this little chain around his wrist there just check out the wrinkles in the sculpt of the shirt the back of the pants check out the oh nice crisp detail on the uh, insignia for the nostromo on the arm and on the front of the shirt there really well done just not feeling it with the actual likeness there so I think that's a it's a bit off still a really nice Parker figure to have though I mean how many of those are going to be made in the world you know thank you to NECA for making Parker and bringing him to the lineup you know, great character in the movie. You can certainly relate to his state of mind. Very loyal to the people around him. Willing to put his life on the line to help others. Talking sense a lot of the time. <laughs> Even, you know, with the money concerns. But, yeah, I really like him. And I always enjoy seeing him in the movie. Here's a little height comparison next to the alien big chap from the same film. That looks about right from the scene where Parker was facing off against the alien trying to distract it to save Lambert who was just frozen on the spot with fear and you can imagine why especially in those you know extended or deleted scenes when you see the crab walk and all that weirdness that was happening right before Parker got it very creepy the way it crawled over to her in that really alien way something you wouldn't expect and then slowly stands up in front of her I hope NECA bring us that version of Lambert. I know you can get her in the spacesuit in Dallas too, but I really want them in there just hanging out on the Nostromo clothes so I can have the whole seven in their jumpsuits and shirts and pants. But yeah, Parker tried. And that's how he looks next to the big chap. He looks pretty good to me. And here is Parker with the recently reviewed Ash figure. Which I really enjoyed doing that review. I did that one first because I thought it was going to be the one I'd you know, be least interested in. Even though I love the character from the movie as a figure, I just didn't think I'd be that thrilled by it. But it turned out to be a really fun review to film, so check the review out if you haven't seen it, folks. Ash has an encounter with the big chap. You might want to check that out. But yeah, very nice height difference here between these two, as there should be and good of NECA to make sure that that was on point. They look great together. I can't wait to have the whole crew. And here he is holding on to one of the really cool accessories, the flamethrower. And I wouldn't mind the option of being able to remove the white shirt to just have him wearing the green t-shirt underneath. Or was it a vest? I feel like it was a vest, or maybe that is a vest under there, I forget, but yeah the alternative look from his final scenes in the film but he holds on to this flamethrower really well and I think that is how I would have him on display just to give him a little bit more balance because he tends to want to fall backwards a lot but holding on to the flamethrower is counteracting that and making him balance perfectly now looks really good holding on to it and he's just wanted to hunt down some alien right now get that bonus surely they'd give him the bonus well no because the company wanted the damn thing didn't they they wanted it for their horrible reasons poor old Parker just wanted to get home him and Brett head to the nearest bar have a couple of brewskis I can't wait to review Brett And just for another little interesting height comparison, here is Parker next to the Michael Myers from Halloween Kills, also made by NECA. Pretty much the same height. Alright folks, time to give you my final thoughts and a score out of 10. Final thoughts are, he's an essential pickup if you are a big fan of the original movie and you've got yourself some of the crew from the Nostromo. 
don't see Parker or Brett or Lambert or any of those folks being made in figure form that much in the future. It may happen in one six scale. Who knows? Or one twelve scale. You never know what's going to happen. But I just think this is something you should get before it gets silly expensive on the aftermarket on eBay. You know? Get yourself some Parker action and make sure you get Brett too. It's like Buzz and Woody. They have to be together. So I definitely recommend you get it. Score out of 10, I'm somewhere between a 7 and an 8, which is good, but very good, you know? Uh, like I said, the likeness isn't really there for me that much, but it's still an impressive figure. They've really gone to a lot of trouble. Every detail has been thought out really well, and I think he's going to look great on the shelf. He didn't look too bad just as he turned just then. So I'm thinking, I'm going to go 7.5 in between, good and very good. 7.5 for me for Parker. But definitely, I think it's an essential piece if you're a fan of the movie. So that's pretty much my thoughts on that one. Really looking forward to reviewing him. I keep saying that, but I just am. I mean, to be honest with you, I only really wanted to buy Brett, you know, weeks back when this whole thing came up, thanks to my girlfriend suggesting some content to make on the channel. Because we were in an alien phase and watching a lot of alien and aliens. And she suggested doing a big comparison video to help people decide, you know, which big chap figure is the most accurate. But I've already done some stuff like that in the past, but not to this extent. I'm going to be comparing all kinds of scales. Just waiting for some more uh, big chap aliens to arrive. And I'll be bringing you those. But yeah, I just really wanted Brett. And then I thought, well, you can't have Brett without Parker. You can't have Brett and Parker without Ash and Ripley and Dallas and Lambert. So... You know, I, I'm glad to have them all. I did used to own most of the Marines from Aliens. And I had the Queen, the Power Loader. I had all that stuff. I had the Ripley from Aliens and the Ripley from Alien 3. All the NECA figures. But I did sell them in a bundle a couple of years back. But the first movie is very special to me. And it's always in my top three films of all time. I do love the second one almost equally. But there's just something about the first movie especially the alien itself it's it's just that magic you know lightning in a bottle thing how many times have we seen you know alien films uh, after that original but the design has just never ever come close to what they did that first time around i do love the alien warrior look and the queen and the dog alien and um any others I'm particularly keen on? Not really. I didn't really like the AVP ones or the AVP Requiem Aliens. I didn't really like the look for those. And the Alien Covenant Aliens, not too bad, but definitely prefer this. Big Chap's my favorite. So, plenty more Alien action on the way soon. Keep it locked on the channel. Drop a like on this video for me. That's important, folks. It will help it turn up in people's searches. And make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at dnight333. And let me know how you're doing in the comments. Always good to hear from you. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.